Hey everybody, this is Innocent here, and today I decided to do a quick tutorial on how to get your creations from Stormworks to 3D prints. So this is just my way of doing it, and I hope you enjoy it. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna print this jet boat right here. And your first step is gonna be to remove uh, any small details, because your printer is uh, most likely not gonna be able to print these. So therefore I'm gonna remove that stuff right here. like this. And another problem which you're gonna have to address is the problem with the wedges. Because if you have two wedges that are basically in this configuration, your printer is not gonna be able to print this very tip right here. So therefore, you, ha you have to cover these up from the inside, so like this for example. So they have more volume right here. So. Basically, the easiest way to do that is basically just to, like if you have something like the shape in front right here, I basically just recommend covering it up completely. And I actually recommend to uh, fill up the entire ship if you have a lot of interior, except if you wanna show off the interior. because your 3D printer is going to do an infill structure in case if you fill up the inside, which is a good thing. Your next step is to remove all windows because these small details are not gonna print too, too well. And like, for example, for right here, I recommend like to build uh, some sort of shape, shaping, uh, So now if you removed all the little details and uh, fixed some possible mistakes, um, it's now time to hit F11 and give the thing a name. Let's call this uh, X1 Pro. And basically now it's gonna export this and it's already finished. And now it's time to prepare your STL. So now it is time to prepare your STL and for that you first have to find your Stormworks folder. For that you're gonna hit Windows R, type in percent .update up percent. hit enter. Now you're gonna be in that folder and in there you should find Stormworks. There should be an export folder and in here you should find your X1 Pro and now you want to open this with Microsoft 3D Builder. It should be pre-installed on your PC. And this should now be your creation. And now hit import model. And now you're going to get this message that there is something wrong. Basically, you're going to just click this and now it's going to auto repair it. There we go, it's done. And now hit save on the top right. And now it's gonna, this window's gonna pop up and now we're gonna choose STL. And now save that somewhere. Let's call this X1 Pro, print, and save it. And we're gonna ignore this. And now we're gonna open our slicer of choice. In my case, that's gonna be Simplify 3D. Now it is time to import our model. Now it should be the X1 Pro print. And hit no there right there, but that's gonna depend on your slicer. And now we're gonna lay this down on the bed and increase the size a bit. Let's say I want to print it in this size, 
And now we're gonna add your manufacturing process and I'm gonna print this with a PLA. I don't know, do I wanna save this? And now just, you don't need to do anything right now, just slice it and take a look at your file. Let's go for this and as we can see right here, um, our chats <laughs> get messed up a bit. That's basically also the reason why we, remo why we remo removed small details. And now I'm just gonna go through the layers and check if the interior is right. And that looks really good. And looks like I missed a block in here. That's gonna take us some extra time, but I'm not gonna bother to correct that now. It's all looking good so far. Yes, that's looking really good. So now it's time to slice that model. There we go, that looks good. So now it's time to save this.